Hey everybody and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue from OML Embroidery and OML Digitizing and today we are working in my favorite now, Wilcom Hatch Embroidery Software. And I think everybody needs to try this software out. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's been a long time since I've been so excited about an embroidery program. Granted, I'm a nerd and I'm an embroidery nerd, but that's okay. I have used different programs over the years and this is by far one of the best ones I have seen and especially in a long time. This program has all the power of Wilcom in a really simple, easy to use format and I love it. I love Hatch for that. It takes all the guesswork out of digitizing and really instead of you know, learning the program and learning how to do this and that. It's all right in front of you. It's, it's easy and you can spend more time learning embroidery and feeling accomplished and feeling inspired because there's so many options for everything. All right, that's being said, we are going to talk about stitch effects. This is part two, I think, maybe not, part two of stitch effects. And I wanna show you some really cool stitch effects that are included with the digitize um right here with the digitize which is in the i think it's the package the highest package that Wilcom hatch um offers and it's worth every penny i did a video on pricing um but if you want to look for yourself go to wilcom.com forward slash hatch and it has all the information for you but anyways I have the whole program and I bought the whole program that's how much I love it um, and we're gonna talk about this so let's digitize so where you start in hatch is of course to my favorite toolbox menu I want to digitize so you twirl down digitize and you have all these options and it seems like a lot which is amazing um, but they're easy once you look at it. You wanna do a square or a circle, freehand, all those things, it's all right there. So what we're gonna to do to really showcase this special effect is we're gonna do a circle. So you click on circle, you click on your page and you hold down and you pull out your circle. And I want to do um, a perfect circle. So this is how you do it. I'll show you two ways. So you let go and click and then this looks kind of weird, but it's okay. Print enter. That's all I did was hit enter. Now, if we do another circle, I'll show you the difference here. And you pull out your circle and you click and you can pull it out this way. And that's how you quickly make a very balanced and perfect oval. And you click to hold that in place and then you hit enter. Go back to your select and let's get rid of that because we just want the circle. Let's look in the true view, which is my favorite. Yep, just a circle, nothing too exciting. We did the tatami fill, nothing too exciting about Mr. Circle, but easy to do and it's perfect. And I absolutely love perfection. So let's, uh, let's make this even fancier. Let's go into embossed and let's pick. Um, so if you have in this pattern department here, you have up, down, up arrow, down arrow, and then this one more. So I want more, I wanna actually look at it. So let's do one with circles, cause it, maybe this one, donut it's called. Look at that, instantly it changes, no waiting. There we go. And what do we want on this one? We wanna to go to effects and we wanna scroll down. So that was just a tab, so we picked our fill. The next thing we're gonna do is effects. And we're gonna talk about gradient fill and all that in another video, but for today we're talking about this the Florentine effect. Are you ready for this? Because it's one click and you will be absolutely amazed. Click, look at that. Look at how it changes. It automatically sets up the size and the spacing of the design. Wow, just like that. Um, the other thing you can do, and it's just one click and I'm telling you, it's awesome. If you wanna change it, I just clicked on reshape and you can move the angle around. Now, it doesn't work with everything. If you're gonna play with it, then you can play with it. Let's make it a bit steeper. 
too much to Do see how it stopped doing it that's about the max you can do there but isn't that an incredible feature i think it's so awesome i can come up with millions of things to do with that why don't we try it with a motif stitch wow one click look it's already done this one even that one isn't that cool so i think that's a really cool special effect oh that one's excellent that you can just click and add on let's bring it all out here i love that more menu what are we going to try bow ties bow ties are cool see how nice that is look at its diamonds down here but more circles so that is how to quickly change your embroidery design with the embossed stitching or the motif stitching and add a special effect to your stitching which you can't do that in a whole lot of programs and if you do it takes a lot of calculation or you pay a whole lot more money for the program and i think that adds interest depth and it's truly inspirational because now i can add really cool designs to a simple circle that's all it is a simple circle and now it looks like it has depth it has balance it is think of a seashell here anyways that my friends is how you add a simple yet very effective florentine effect to your plain stitches here inside Wilcom hatch embroidery software don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to let me know that you like this video and you would like some more. I always appreciate the inspiration. Um, and thanks, and I'll see you guys in the next video.